in this time warp where I was 100% balls deep listening to you guys' music. And then, and then I was like, okay, I got to go back and listen to this. And then, then you found the uh, Break of Dawn, dude. Break of Dawn with or without Josh was just phenomenal. What was the concept behind that one? Um, you know, it's funny, like when I was like writing the, pre like the present EP, we just needed like an, an extra song and I kind of just put it together last minute and it, it kind of just came out like naturally, you know, like it, it just flowed out, you know, like it wanted to be written, you know, I wrote like the clean part at first and then like, you know, it, it's like the calm before the storm type thing. You know what I mean? Like it just gets crazy from there and it just kind of goes on. Yeah. Yeah. It, it just flows. Like it, it just like to me, like it flowed when I wrote it, it wanted to be written. I feel like so. That, that's that's no no more to it than that you know yeah i, I understand flow but then you got tadpole who just throws this magic all i mean it's just like he's just sprinkling magic of drums dude it's just like what's the deal with that dude you just you just flow with it too you just go with it and drum wise you're talking about yes yeah, sir just uh follow the guitars you basically that's it follow the accents you feel me and that's it <laughs> really, I follow the guitar. It's really all the guitar. Tony writes the song, and then I just follow what he does, really. Mm -hmm. So it all starts with the guitars, and then basically with whatever they're doing, just follow it. How'd you guys meet? Meet uh, Tony and I? Yeah. Uh, a former band before the Meridian Park. Yeah, we were, uh, we were in a band before together called Anchors Overboard. Shout out Anchors Overboard. Um, if it wasn't for that band, we probably wouldn't have met. And it's funny because we live in the same city. We even went to the same middle school that we discovered like later on, you know, but we're yeah, like, we didn't know it at the time though. We're like different ages. So we didn't like, you know, yeah, he's older than me, like by two years. So he was eighth grade. I was sixth grade, but we didn't find out until like way later. Damn. Yeah, so if it wasn't for the previous band, we probably wouldn't have even met. But uh, yeah, once we met, we, we like found out we were both into metal and stuff. And Meridian Parkway is like a band that I was like previously in, like in high school, but it kind of like died out because, you know, I moved on and then joined the previous band. I was in Anchors Overboard. So that was like the full time thing, and then me and Tadpole met, and we just decided we were gonna do this full time, and we've been doing it ever since, you know. Like when I write, when I'm writing guitars and stuff, I kind of like already know like Tadpole's style. Like I don't know exactly what he's gonna do. He always switches it up and, and comes creatively, but nice. I kind of know like the way he's gonna like shape shape what I'm doing. I guess if that's like a good way to put it. Yeah. Um, it's not like that. I keep him in mind. I kind of like think of like a like a specific like vibe in mind for the song and kind of like s stick to that vibe and, and, and guide the guitar playing around that. And then from the guitar playing, I kind of have an idea what he'll do, but then I'll always send it to him. He'll send it back. And, you know, he, it blows my mind still because it's always something different than I expected. You know, that's <laughs> that he always has his own style, his own little twist on it, you know? Yeah. And, cool. and you know, vo vocals come last with our vocalist. He's at work right now. Um, but, um, you know, me and him will usually sit down and write them together, make sure that everything sounds sounds good and stuff. And then we'll, you know, get in to tracking and stuff. And, and that's like how we usually, you know, finalize the, the songs. 